Nearly 50 years ago, a Lake Mary man stumbled upon a diamond in the rough, so to speak, a pocket watch from the Civil War. He liked it, he bought it, he put it on display, not realizing that it was living history in his hand. Les Barkley's story is this week's Cool in the Community. Les Barkley fancies himself a bit of a pocket watch collector. He's gathered up about a dozen over the years, some more special than others. My firstborn daughter, I would tie this around her neck, and when she was teething, she broke her first tooth on this watch. My next, my youngest daughter broke her first tooth on this watch. But the timepiece that perhaps started his slight obsession was out of the ordinary, to say the least. A key wound Civil War pocket watch from the 1800s, engraved with the name Joseph H. Brensinger. Three years ago, he took it down to the Orange County Convention Center to learn more about it. When I had it appraised at the Antique Roadshow, I don't even remember what they told me. It was probably, a, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars. I don't really remember. What the, the value is to me is that um, I just like the idea that it's just kind of a little slice of history. Les bought the watch long before Google, so he didn't really know anything about the Civil War soldier it once belonged to. A few years ago, he typed in the name Joseph H. Brenzinger, and this photo popped up. Now that he could see Joseph's face, the history started to flow. He was wounded when he was 18 years old, and he ended up uh, continuing his education, got a college degree, became principal of a school. Um, then he became superintendent of schools in New Jersey. But here's where the story takes a turn. As Les continued his search, he stumbled upon another website called findagrave.com. I saw his grandson, great grandson, on this site inquiring about information on his great grandfather. So Les reached out to the site and asked if they could put the two in touch. The family, it turns out, had never left New Jersey. And he, they never even knew that there was a, a watch. He had his, his great grandfather's Civil War sword and pictures of him, and he's named after him, but he never knew there was a watch. Les is now working on a biography about the Union soldier and says his next step is to get the watch back to the family. He kept saying, Now you're just going to give this to me? <laughs> I said, Yeah. I said, You know, what am I supposed to do? You know, hold it for ransom? You know, like I got a member of your family here. You know, this. This belongs in your family. I'd rather have the story than the watch. So that's that's what's going to happen. Isn't that great? So Les says incredible. he's now working with the great grandson to have a meeting so that the two of them can exchange the watch. He said, "I just want them to have the watch back. It needs to be with them." I think it's a very sweet story. What a great be, to be able to put a face to the watch, and right? not just the fact that he survived the yes. Civil War, but to have that kind of a lineage yeah. and bring those two together. It actually gave me story. chills to think he types in his name and then up pops the picture. Pops picture. Wow! Wow! All these years. Yeah, it's right. like in the caption, "Where's my watch? <laughs> Who's got my watch?" Exactly. <laughs>